What is up guys? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day and I'm a cybersecurity professional and college student. And on this channel, I talk about cybersecurity, college, certifications, and internships. And as you've seen from the title of this video, this is a little different from videos I do. So I'm always talking about how to get into cybersecurity, why you should get into cybersecurity, how I got into cybersecurity. But today I'm talking about the top four reasons why you shouldn't get into cybersecurity. Now, Disclaimer, I'm not a pessimist. Um, I'm not the one person that wouldn't tell you to get cybersecurity, but this video is just a different perspective to kind of show you what you should possibly expect if you're trying to start a career in cybersecurity. But before we get into the video, uh, if you're new here, please be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Also be sure to check out my other videos and playlists. You're definitely gonna find something of value there. Also be sure to check out my website, www.cyberworksacademy.com, where you can find various resources that are gonna help you in a cybersecurity career. And also be sure to check out my Discord community, Cyberworks Academy. Um, I'll leave a link to it in the description. Uh, we're about 750 members right now, and we'll be glad to have you. It's a really great place to just come ask questions, um, connect with people, with other college students or cybersecurity students, um, and other professionals as well. So definitely we'll be glad to have you there. Also check out Cyberworks Academy's YouTube channel, um, where I post different kinds of sessions that we have on there so you can definitely find something of value there as well all right so let's get into the purpose of today's video so on this channel i'm always advocating for cybersecurity. i'm always telling you how to get into cybersecurity. always providing you tips on how to get into cybersecurity. different things that have helped me in my cybersecurity career um and i'm not once again i'm not a pessimist i'm not you know here to tell you you know why cybersecurity is bad for you or whatever but these are just some things you should consider before getting into cybersecurity. so let's dive right into the video all right so the number one reason why you should not get into cybersecurity is if you're the kind of person who is not into self-learning or is not really into self-development. Cybersecurity is a field where you're gonna be doing a lot of self-learning, you're gonna be learning on your own, you're going to be having to do research on your own to find information and things like that. So if you're the kind of person who is not really able to source for information for themselves, you're not able to find resources on the internet, you're gonna be struggling a lot because in a lot of situations you're tasked to learn something you've never learned before. Um, even before, like even in the process of trying to break into the industry, you're gonna be doing a lot of learning on your own. And if you're not able to, you know, get into that habit of learning on your own, um, it's something that, you know, you should con you should really, really consider before getting into cybersecurity because you're gonna find yourself doing so much self-learning. A, a lot of people who take certifications are self-taught. Um, a lot of people who don't think in cybersecurity are self-taught. A lot of things that people that people do in cybersecurity are self-taught. So um, if you're not able to search for information, learn on your own, build skills on your own, lab on your own, then cybersecurity might not be right for you. Um, but this is definitely a skill you can learn, you can gain over time and build over time. I was not that person before I started in cybersecurity. Like I was, I, I was always used to teachers teaching me stuff. But over time, while I was studying for certifications, learning new skills, learning new tools, labbing and all that stuff, I began to develop the habit and the skill of being able to learn on my own and to search for information that's gonna help me. So that's number one reason why cybersecurity might not be right for you. Now, the second reason why cybersecurity might not be right for you is if you're not capable of keeping up with constantly evolving trends. Now, cybersecurity is a fast growing and fast changing industry where there are new tools coming out, new skills you have to learn as you're going in your career, um, new certifications you might have to take for your job or for skill building. Um, new kind of new kinds of attacks that are being propagated by attackers. Um, different breaches are going on every day. There are different kinds of new defensive mechanisms, new defensive tools. So there's always something new. There's always new technologies, cloud, um, different things like that. So you're always constantly learning. You're always constantly in a rapidly changing and rapidly evolving industry. So if you're the kind of person that is not able to keep up with this change, with new trends, with building new skills, with learning new things, Cybersecurity might not be right for you because you're always going to find yourself in a situation where you always have to be learning something new, except you're the kind of person who wants to stay dormant or stay stagnant. But if you are someone who wants to grow in the field, become better at your job, become a better cybersecurity professional, you are going to be constantly having to learn something new. And that's something to consider um, because, like I said, cybersecurity is constantly growing, fast growing, fast paced. Um, and constantly and rapidly evolve. That's definitely a second reason why cybersecurity might not be right for you. Now, the third reason why cybersecurity might not be right for you is if you're not willing to make investments. And I'm talking about investment of time and money, right? So with time, you're constantly investing your time into learning and studying new skills, connecting with people, um, creating resources for other people to help other people, different things like that. So it's gonna be 
a really, really time consuming thing, right? Now, it doesn't mean that you have to make it take over your life, but what I'm saying is the field is such is so dynamic to the point where it definitely requires a time sacrifice for you to be able to learn so many things because it's a very, very vast field. It's a very, very wide field. So it's always something new to learn, which is really, I think, the center of cybersecurity and also the center of what we've talked about from the very first a second thing that might not be the reason why cybersecurity is right for you. So if you're not able to, to, to commit and to invest that time that is required to learn a new skill, to you know uh, become better at something, cybersecurity might not be right for you. And on the other hand, uh, money is also an investment, right? So um, in terms of like investing in yourself, in terms of investing in trainings and certifications and conferences and and, to, and tools and skills that are going to help you build your capabilities and your skills and your stack as a cybersecurity professional, you might have to spend money upfront, especially if you're just trying to get into the industry. There's several free resources, don't get me wrong, and several free, free resources that are going to be very beneficial to you. But in some cases, you might have to spend your money. So you might have to spend your money on Udemy courses, on subscriptions, on like different web and websites or different training providers, um, spend money on certifications. So that money commitment is also really important, especially if you're just going to start to get into the field. Um, over time, that money investment will eventually pay off because you might find an employer that will be willing to start paying for your certifications, for your trainings, um, for different things like that. So, but in, in the start, you are definitely going to be having to make the time and uh, financial sacrifices and financial investments that would eventually yield return. But if you're the kind of person who is not willing to put in this time and financial investment upfront for future rewards, then cybersecurity might not be right for you. Now, the fourth and last reason why cybersecurity might not be right for you is if you're a person who gets frustrated easily, right? So this one is one that I relate to so much. Um, I'm not someone who gets frustrated easily, but we're human, so we're definitely bound to have these emotions and to definitely get frustrated over time. I can um, count the amount of times where I'm trying to figure out a lab or figure out a, a tool, figure out something, and I just can't figure it out. Like, you know, it, it definitely stresses you out, definitely gets you frustrated sometimes, but being able to persevere through that and eventually try to find a solution to that problem is something that is really great, a cyber, great cybersecurity skill to have. But the kind of person who easily gives up on things, you know, gives up on projects, gives up on learning something because you're not able to understand it fast, then cybersecurity might not be right for you because you're trying to gas, grasp so many complex uh, concepts, trying to learn so many new things, trying to, there's so much to do in cybersecurity. So, um, and you're not always going to be able to figure out things easily, right? Because, like we said in the very first thing, you're 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 having to you know find resources on your own, having to figure things out on your own. There's definitely people you can reach out to for help, but a lot of times you have to figure things out on your own because number one, it helps you learn those things better. So if you're the kind of person who easily gives up, easily gets frustrated, if easily abandons abandons things, then cybersecurity might not be right for you because you're going to be constantly getting frustrated at different things. So it might be trying to figure out a new technology, trying to figure out a new tool, trying to implement something, trying, you're trying to do something and it's just not working out because you, you don't have the knowledge of it or it's just not working out, right? Uh, because because of, for some reason, right? For example, like if you're, if you're writing code and you know, you mistakenly put like a bracket somewhere or like a semicolon somewhere and it's just not, it's not working out you definitely, it's, it's, it's easy to get, um, you know, frustrated and, and, and want to leave that alone. But if you're kind of person that is able to kind of painstakingly try to figure out why there's a problem, why you're not able to understand this, then you would definitely thrive with cybersecurity because you're always going to find yourself in situations where you're, you're going to be frustrated to the point where you want to give up on something. But being able to, um, to have that tenacity and perseverance to um, put in the effort to try to find a solution to the problem, um, it's definitely good, something, something that will help you cybersecurity. So if you're kind of person that easily gives up, then cybersecurity might just not be right for you. So those are the four reasons why I think cybersecurity might not be right for you. Um, once again, I'm not a pessimist. I'm not discouraging you. I actually hope that this video will kind of in a reverse format encourage you to get into cybersecurity because these things that I just talked about are, are skills and, um, and things you can learn and build over time. Like I was not this person before I started in cybersecurity, I was not the kind of person that could learn things on my own, but in the process of doing it over and over and again, trying to learn new skills, trying to build my skills, trying to just always trying to do something to figure figure it out and to make progress in the field, 
I was able to build all these skills over time. So I hope you made it this far into the video to get to this point, and I hope you are able to take these things and let them motivate you to the point where you know you start working in the process to figure things out and start building the skills that are going to help you in cybersecurity. So yeah, thank you very much for watching the video. If you like this video, please be sure to smash the like button and be sure to subscribe. Also leave a comment down below. Let me know what um what things you think are reasons why people might not be able to get cybersecurity. I'd like to, I'd like to know your opinion. Also check out the links in my description for all the resources that I mentioned um, that are going to help you out. So yeah, once again, thank you very much for watching the video. I'll see you in the next video.